uh, that's one of the things about my Civ 6 stream on uh, Monday nights is it gives people a really good opportunity to uh, to get those kind of special giveaways uh, because not that many people enter, of course. So really good opportunity, really good chances of winning, right? All right, Big O, you said there was no death pick, so I took care of the screenshot. Let's get into this game here. This is the Clever Tier 10 French Destroyer. And you've got main armaments mod one. Oh, before we get to that, characteristics. Fast ship, hard to kill, good gun, good ballistics. It's got reload booster. It can YOLO ships with torpedoes. Um, there, 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 there's some good stuff here. So uh, what you've got here is you've got your main armaments. You've got propulsion engine boost. So that's really nice if you if you plan to YOLO stuff. That comes in handy. Aiming systems, propulsion, concealment, main battery. These are 139 millimeter guns. So not bad for AP into broadside cruisers. Uh, captain skills. Is this a standard captain? Um... Oh, I'm not in the game. I think it was. It may have been Charles. Okay, whatever. It's it, fine. I don't know. Your build, you went with my core build. You've got preventative maintenance into last stand. Uh, you did switch over to main battery for your guns. Superintendent for the, um, actually, main battery and then concealment and then superintendent. Adrenaline rush into survivability expert. Now, superintendent is interesting because you only have engine boost uh, reload booster as your two consumables you've got infinite numbers of damage control so superintendent gives you one extra of each of these it's okay I, I don't even think it does much for the for the speed boost to be honest and, yeah. and the reason is you already extended the duration of the speed boost right so it runs a long time plus the cooldown it's very very hard and it takes a long game like we're talking like over 15 16 minutes to even get to use that last charge right so it's really mostly only one additional charge for the main battery reload booster and personally i don't think that is worth it i would much rather like if it's a 19 point captain it doesn't work but if you get up like to 20 mm -hmm. you could take something like a fearless brawler instead or you could take the gun range instead which I think are much better skills than the superintendent to take. So I was about to mention, yeah, both of these are good options. Alternately, in a competitive environment, radio location could work too, especially if you use the unique upgrade. But other than that, for, for random battles, I would agree. Fearless Brawler, I think, is the best pick. I would take the range personally. personally. I don't like Fearless Brawler. What, Why is that? I, would... I just don't. I tried it a few times. I didn't like it. I mean, you, you, it's always active when you shoot. Like, what I would do is I would drop the main battery specialist too. Mm -hmm. And I would take the fearless brawler and the range. Yeah. That would be my build. Yeah, these two are good picks. So, fearless brawler, if you're playing a ship that uses smoke, a destroyer that uses smoke, it's not as good. But the French destroyers don't have smoke. So, if you're going to open up with your guns. You might as well get 10% better reload time on your main battery. That That's the idea behind Fearless Brawler. It's really only good for this and then rushing gunboat line w with a heal. If you're using smoke, it's not going to help you much. Yeah, you take this skill on, on smoke. Or you take it on open water gunboat destroyers. Let's, Correct. let's put it that way. Correct. Okay, let's take a look at your flags. Uh, ramming flag. This is Big O. He likes to ram. Anti-debt. Fire chance, flood chance, fire chance, speed. Fire reduction is very helpful for the uh, French destroyers. Probably about it. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's get into your replay. Mr. Blue Sky playing. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Better to have and not need. That's true, Wolf. That's very true. Because there was a few times where I thought I had a ram flag on and I didn't, and I went to ram something and yeah. lost. 
I so, mean, yeah. I, I completely understand that. The ramming flag comes in very handy. Especially the, now the with only, subs in the game. The only cost of the ramming flag is that it takes a slot up of another signal. So if right. you don't run full signals, you can take the ramming flag easily. I mean, for the most part, I don't run full signals on my ships. Mm -hmm. That's Except fair, maybe like... You don't have to in, in random is battles. That... Mm -hmm. Let's look at the... Uh, let's take a moment look at your matchmaking. You're in a tier 11, so it's a super ship game. Congratulations. So it means you're middle tier. There's a Malta on the enemy team. I don't think that you care much about the Malta. It's not a big threat to you, right? Mm, it gets annoying. But the AP bombs are a bigger threat to cruisers. The rockets aren't that good and the torture. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hanover, Louisiana, Palmer, that's your food. Novobursk, Zao, Nevsky, Johande, Whale. If you can get on their side, they are your food. And then Gearing, Holland, Paulo, Jaeger are your food as well. Of those, you don't really care about any of them. This is actually not bad. I care about Nevsky. That's the um, only one well, I do care about. And that's what I was fixing to say. Nevsky with its radar you care about. But other than that... It's really not bad. Really not bad for you. Concentrate fire I've seen a lot worse, you know what I mean? This is where experience comes into play to not brush in a cap. Same could be said for the GJ Merker we, uh... Well, people you covered so here's the thing the schultz is already in the cap there's no need to rush into it at this point let the schultz either get the cap or stall the cap looks like he's getting progress on the c cap actually so that's not bad uh you're switching to ap i like it you're slowing down i also like it reload booster unfortunately the nevsky decided to turn in as soon as you started shooting at him that's that sucks but it is what it is I would switch back to HE at this point. He's turning way too too much in. Look at all the, the ricochets you're getting on him. He's, ang he's, yeah. he's just too angled to you. I was too busy firing at him, I think. Now, so, the ironic but... thing is, the ironic thing is you're going to switch to HE and he's going to open up broadside to you because he's not going to want to keep moving forward. Because he'll die. Never mind. Okay, he's turning in. He's dead. You've lost your Neptune, but the Neptune? I, I don't know that I feel bad about this. No, our Hanover, their Hanover killed our Neptune. Right, that's what I mean. Like, you, you've both lost a ship, but I feel better about the Nevsky dying because that's the only real radar threat on your uh, enemy team, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me trying to taunt Apollo. <laughs> what? I was oh trying God. to. Apollo, come on, come on, really? Yep. He's heading towards the sea cap. Where is he? Well, if you look at where that Neptune was, he didn't deserve to survive, Fujam, right? Engine boost. Engine boost activated. There you go. Oh! Trying to hit his torps. Yeah, good job dodging that, turning in, figuring his torpedoes might have been coming at you. It's not my time to die, it's not my time to die. So if you stay on this side, you're figuring you're going to get him with your own torpedoes. I would have gone widespread torpedoes there, but okay. Death strike, lol. Hello, Palmer. I might turn to the right here just to get behind the island but it looks to me like you're going for this i'm trying my best to dodge all the secondaries y yes i recall right because remember french saturation it, it it takes a while to what did you say in the last one about the french saturation well, I mean, you, you, you get saturated very quickly, and then you don't take a lot of damage because of that saturation. 
Yes, exactly. Glorious um, torch, by the way. I might have widespreaded. At least the second. You got the kill, but the widespread spreads out the damage more, so that saturation isn't as much of a thing. But damn, dude. That's good. That's a good kill. <laughs> and there, there's a Jaeger you could chase down. I need intelligence I not done yet. Paolo says, you got lucky. Do you feel like you got lucky, punk? <laughs> Honestly, no. I thought if that's that what if, if Palmer had held his torps for just like five seconds more when I got close to him, he could have nailed me with him. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that Palmer and White lined it, because it went just, just glorious, turning glorious into. torps. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, there's the Jaeger, so you get to kill him now with guns. Yay. Guns, LOL. guns, guns. Guns. Lots of guns. Lots of guns. And then I get the prey on the novel, no, the, the super ship. Yes, the super ship. Super Petro, that's it. Pros versus Joes involves patience and oh, I like that pros versus Joes. Um, can I can I make that your title? To go pros versus Joes. I was looking forward to, yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, look at you! Look at you! Riding the border. <laughs> This is a pro versus Joe moment. This is absolutely Whee! a pro versus Joe moment. Disgusting. He's turning too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Switch to AP, switch to AP, switch to AP. No? Oh, I don't want to fully take him out. He knows I'm there. He's looking right at me. I might have continued left here and switched to the right side to get my torpedoes ready for the Nova, but looks to me like you're just gonna go in, because this is a big O replay. This is what Big O does, he just goes in. <laughs> AP, by the way, horrific to watch, says Neil. Yeah, horrific to watch. AP, by the way, at this point. Absolutely AP, by the way. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, it doesn't matter. You're gonna, you're gonna blab him with torpedoes on your right side. I already see it. But AP would come in handy just to make him think that uh, he was in trouble from your guns. Ow. Yeah, whatever. Quit complaining. Are you going to salute him by firing over him just for the lols? Nope. Okay. See back in with your, <laughs> with your, with your death charges. <laughs> oh, God, you detonated him, too. With one torch. One. Wow. Wow. And now here's how you handle a CV that decides to focus you. And what is that? Angle in. Angle in. Yeah, Your turn AI, it. Um, turn the pr priority sector. So Actually, I sent a compliment to our Richtoven because he kept dropping. He, he basically I gave see me that. all his fighters. Yeah, he put planes over you. So um, if you look at the matchmaking at this point, it's just four ships against six. You should be feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Mm-hmm. Two of his three torp kills were one torpedo hits. That's true, Bach. That's very true. Really? Polo was one? I thought it was two. I have to look back at the replay, but yeah. Nice dodge drift. I, I like the anti-air off into the Malta, and then, of course, anti-air on. When he comes back. Well, See, the best thing is... You also get to kill the planes. Go ahead. Yeah, kill the fighters. The best thing is the destroyer to do. Turn your AA off. Until you get spotted, or if he drops fighter on you, that's when you turn the AA on with priority sector. Yep. And I love this constant turning. He's trying to get on your side, and you're just like, no. I mean, you know me as a CV main and a battleship main, yeah, so... Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's why I always talk about how important it is to play this game from the other classes. If you hate a class, play the class, learn the class, understand that class's perspective. And Big O is demonstrating this right now. You understand the CV perspective. You know what he's going to do, so you know exactly how to counter this. Mm -hmm. And as a result, this poor guy screwed. Priority sector, priority sector. A little late on that, but okay. 50 knots sailing straight, 30 knots in a turn. Yes. I mean, I mean, you don't want to sail 
straight in the line because he can lead up even with that delay leading me up. It's gonna hit me. Meanwhile, now it's one versus five. LOL. And I see food! This is a fine example of seal clebbing. <laughs> seal clebbing, says Cochrane. Seal <laughs> I could totally see that. I could totally see that. Many thanks. Now, you'd love to shoot AP at the Malta. Of course, he's turning south because he knows you're coming straight at him. Big o, big o, I love, <laughs> by the way, I love that you sent a compliment. And you said it in chat, too. You are encouraging team play, which is something I haven't seen much from you. So that's really cool to see. I, I, it's, it's an example of you growing in this game. By the way, shoot your guns oh. first and then reload boost. Yeah, I do that, but I, I just don't share the really good, re the really bad replays with all the, you know, <laughs> team encouragement. I, I, I understand. I'm just saying. Like, I think it's important to be able to showcase. Oh, look at that! You're citadeling the Malta at that range. Holy hell! It's a delf. Yeah, slurp it all up, baby. That's crazy. Wow. CV is getting hole punched again. We saw that earlier today when I played. Now Big O is doing it. Seal Free clubbing. Looking. All right, seal clubbing. I like it. Seal clubbing. Yeah, we could go with that. And this is when I switch back to AP to, to try to get the kill. You mean HE? Yeah. Uh, he's at 171. Yeah, yeah, left, 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 left. He's going to sail to the left based off his physics. Can I say something now? No. He got the kill. Nice. Okay, go Brecken. ahead. Yes. Yeah, can you can you pause? What? So, I just want to come back to the superintendent thing like look at the consumable on the on the speed boost now it's still 109 before the, he can even use the third one and you haven't and even used you got two more available of, of the reload yeah, booster right yeah. and, and we're already 12 minutes deep like there is there is so little chance that you're gonna get a four speed boot off okay, okay. you make a valid point there yeah. uh -huh. make a valid point no, and that's great. I love it because it, it really does allow us to just look and think about the value that Superintendent provides. Again, on a heal ship, that comes in handy. But... It, it uh, changes a little bit if you don't use the speed boost module that makes the speed boost last longer. But if, if, you, comp if you use that, it, like, right. the timing just doesn't work out. Like, you, you basically right. need a, a game that goes to the full 20 minutes to use that. Yep. And the other thing, like, I didn't like the first two uses of his reload booster. Mm -hmm. Like, against the Nevsky there, mm -hmm. uh, like, the thought of getting there. in there with the AP is, is nice, but I don't think at that range you even have a good chance with the AP to get anything done. And he didn't. And he got all bounces. Especially since it turned, like... And if you didn't have had it used there you would have had it ready for the paolo emilio mm -hmm. which would not which would have meant you didn't have to risk that yolo against the paolo there you could have just reload boosted it and shoot it to pieces right it, it worked it does it did. i mean it worked but like if you didn't waste the reload booster you didn't have to do that <laughs> HE would have been a better pick there anyways and reload boosting with HE would have been fine too but, you know, you want to get him to, to burn and then DCP and then reload boost so he's on sticky fire in that situation. Cthulhu there's says, a, hey DJ. There's two approaches to reload booster, right? The one person likes to use it after the fire got DCP to get a perma fire. Yep. And the other person likes to use it to get the, per, to get the fire first mm -hmm. and then gets DCP. I think both approaches is viable. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I'm leaning towards like I like to use it to get a sticky one, like yeah. use it the second time. Right, exactly. Uh, Cthulhu says one is obliged to remember that the captain may be used on other ships. Yeah, this is true. What what other French destroyers are there where you would need that superintendent? Not many. I don't I think you need it on any French one. 
I can't think of any premium. Maybe French the destroyers. lower tier ones that have smoke, but I can't think of any premium French destroyers. That's that's the struggle that may, I'm facing may, right now. Maybe you want it for the smoke on an Agla, but it's questionable there too. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Zath? I I just something just hit me. Oh, you know you have no replays of airship escort. Not yet, no. Well, I could pop that bubble. Pop that you, cherry. Dude, you could, but again, the patches this week. This is the last replay stream, and this is the last replay of that replay stream. So you absolutely are welcome to pop that bubble with a new patch. You know what I'm saying? After Wednesday. Um That's assuming they don't remove it. And even I know they, Dude, they're not gonna remove it. Come on. They're not gonna remove it. Um so anyways, and that's with my plan is to do Friday Warships Replay Project Planet, the usual, and then Saturday, Sunday Cots, EUNA. If this is killing me, if it's killing me, I'm dropping my Monday night streams for Civ. And if I have to, I'll drop my Friday streams as well. We'll see. We'll see. But that that's the plan for right now. But in any case, dude, let's look at your replay analysis, uh your 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 numbers. I mean Look at your base XP. 800. No. 600. Base XP higher than, than Erikto at second place. Awesome game. Awesome Paolo game. Paolo dead last. <laughs> huh? Uh, that Paolo dead last. Well, <laughs> dude, he, Okay. <laughs> Why is he dead last? He ran into Big O and he couldn't do crap about it, right? He wasn't able to do what what he wanted to do, which is just YOLO a battleship or something. No, so, I think the Neptune did worse than the Apollo. It's it's not it's not bad at all. Let's take a look at your replay render. Because there's not much to talk about in regards to your post battle. You you, you club the crap out of them, which is why I think Seal Clebbing is a fantastic name mm -hmm. for this replay analysis. It was a good game. It was a great game. Absolutely. Yes, it was. So cheers, Big O, and everybody else. See, I told you Destroyers are an e easy class to play. Mm-hmm. I mean, th they can be, I guess. But yeah, that, that 45 angle AP here had no chance. No. But that's okay. I mean, of all the, the feedback we can give Big O in this replay, I think that's really it. You know, just that, that Nevsky, two angle. Oh, yeah, he was right. That was a one torque dev strike on the Apollo. Silent Giodori, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Make sure you uh, type exclamation point ticket to get in for our giveaway, all right? Maybe here too, you probably didn't need the reload booster against the Jaeger here. He was so low. Hmm. But you got to use the reminder of it onto the Novo Sibirsk, so it was fine. Mm hmm Okay. Notice how, like, almost half of their team is dead and they still... Wait, who has... No one has a cap yet? I mean, Over it's... Half the team. It happens. I mean, I mean, you didn't play for the cap. <laughs> uh, Not at all. The, the, <laughs> Schul the Schultz was in, got kind of pushed out yep and uh i don't even know what happened at b was the godland looks like he got pummeled and nobody cared for a yep that's right so like it's 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 honestly so much easier to play a gunboat destroyer yep if you don't have to worry about the caps like if if there's pressure put on you because mm -hmm. the enemy team controls the caps it gets so much harder mm -hmm. if you can just sit there and farm like beat with the torpedoes and YOLO rushes or with the guns. Uh, well, it's so much easier. And in the case of this, in the case of this replay, I would say that uh, Big O got himself in a position where it didn't matter what the cap situation was. He was already there. You know what I mean? Because the enemy team just kind of evaporated around him. I mean, three dev strikes out of five kills. That's pretty I mean, awesome. That, that, I mean, that happens when you YOLO and do it with the Torps, right? It's kind of what you expect. And the enemy these doesn't French, use protection, lol. These French Torps, 
I, I, the protection wouldn't even have saved them. Like these tops do like what eighteen thousand four hundred damage, and you have yeah. six per side. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. if you get close enough to launch them and hit them all, like there's nothing that saves you. <laughs> exactly, Wolf. It shows what can happen when a player totally upsets the red team's game plan. Yes. <laughs> totally upset. No I more mean, like put a corkscrew in it. Yep. yep. It's also just another example, like this Pomon, like. Why mm -hmm. you shouldn't take your battleship behind those islands there? Right. Like this, this Pomman's game influence was zero. <laughs> oh well. I mean, to be fair, I do it all the time, but usually there's nothing happening when you tap. Mm hmm All right. Well, Big O, thanks for sending the replay in. It was it was a fun replay to look at. You did a gun YOLO before. Now you've done your torp YOLO, so that's cool to see, right? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're over 100 